Short answer, no. The 51C is worse than the 38G in terms of battlefield flexibility. The 51C only won at its light speed and maneuverability advantage, while the P-38 three rocket salvos are far better than one two 100-pound bomb drop. Here's the long explanation. You unlock the P-38 at campaign level 4 compared to the P-51, which sits at level 12, so you need to grind an extra level for that. Now, you might think that the 51 is better because of, well, progression gives you better stuff, right? Not quite with this one, though. For the speed and maneuverability you got with the 51, you sacrificed ammo capacity, an additional 20mm cannon in the nose, and flexibility in engaging the enemy in buildings. Can those 100 pound rocks do this? I don't know. You might say, but bombs are better at engaging tanks, especially panthers and tigers that you will inevitably met in the battlefield. But that's not the case either here. You need to be that precise with your 100 pound rocks in order to kill a tank. While compared to the M8 rockets, you just aim, shoot, and pull off. Okay, that's an oversimplification, and you also need precision here. But knowing where your rocket drops helps a hectic when it comes to tank busting. Here's a short guide. Engage from at least semi top to top angle because of the tank's generally weak roof armor, especially Panthers with only like 15mm. Make sure your plane is balanced to increase accuracy. A straight line approach is preferable at all costs. Put the enemy tanks below your aiming reticle. When you shoot the M8 rocket, it doesn't go straight, it went slightly downwards, so you want to put the enemy tank below your aiming reticle, the plane, not yours, because that's two different things. Shoot two to three salvos of M8 rockets to ensure destruction. Now, I feel like with one accurate blow of M8 rockets, are able to destroy most tanks, but if you are not sure enough that one will destroy a tank, I will suggest you shoot at least two, minimum. Pull out and do whatever next can be chasing that enemy fighter you want to kill so badly, went back into that space area where you can rearm, or just, I don't know, do whatever you want. Now, I can go for a little bit longer explaining why the 38G is still a better option, but I want you to give it a feel first and form your own opinion before settling on either plane. But, in my opinion, I will stay with the P-38G because of that battlefield flexibility, skip the 51 completely, and then shoot straight for campaign level 18 where there's the A-20G with four 500-pound bombs which is infinitely better